Hey guys, before the start of the video, I would recommend you subscribe to the channel. Seeing that pretty much nearly 98% of you guys that are not subscribed watch my videos, I would really appreciate if we can get that 2.6 to 50% or above. That would really help the channel out. And I normally don't ask, but yeah, this is a little depressing. Let's see if we can make some improvements. Hey fellas. Get on with the video. Well, it seems we have a third anti-bot update in a row of updates that Valve are going to put out against the hackers. Well, the creators of the bots. So, let's have a look at these changes they put out last night. Accounts that are unable to chat in Matchmaker are now also restricted from sending voice chat. So, what that means is well, essentially the bots can't mic spam anymore, so they can't play racist songs, ear rape songs, or stuff that could get you banned if you're streaming or get in trouble with YouTube. It also is somewhat of a double-edged sword where it does limit genuine free-to-plays from using chat and now voice chat, but they need to somehow stop these bots and limit what they can do. Fix a bug where cosmetic items and second and third equipped slots would be unequipped, Apparently there was a bug that the bots could do, that is now fixed, which is great. Matchmaking badges, we have added a matchmaking badge and item connected to the report player dialogue, that's quite good. Updated vote kick process to automatically vote yes for anyone who hasn't already voted if the target for the vote leaves the server. So essentially... If the bots leave the server in the middle of the vote kick, anyone that hasn't voted yes will automatically vote yes, and the bot would be kicked. The bot will not be able to draw rejoin the server. They're just, they can't. Which is great, because that means the bots can't loop around by simply leaving the server as they're being vote kicked, and then rejoin later. They can't now. If, if they leave, they're instantly kicked, and they will never come back in that particular server, which is great. What else did they done? Updated the mute player dialogue to have the same information as the report player dialogue. Well, that's also quite good as well. And obviously they have updated item scheme with community fixes from so-and-so. Updated added some medals and the localization files. So essentially, this is quite good. We've had three anti-bot updates so far and that's great it seems Valve are definitely doing something about it because these bots are very annoying so what can't they do now they can't leave the server and rejoin they're now automatically kicked from the server and blocked they can't mic spam they can't text spam uh, they can't change their names in the servers they can't change their team names and they can't equip Cosmetic slots from people. It's pretty much the only thing left they can do is just hack. And more of us players getting more abilities to report them and kick them out easier. I mean, these creators of the bots, they get their asses handed by Valve. And it's glad that this is something being done about it. They still need to somewhat step up and communicate, but. This is great that there's something, and frequent updates like this, this is, this is like old Valve a bit, it does. But still, good to see more updates, and glad that these bots are being dealt with. It's just a bit irritating for the lack of updates, but what I'm guessing, and another small YouTuber actually said something about this, that the reason we probably haven't got the heavy update or any updates at all as, well... You can't have a new update when you have a bot pandemic going around. If you have all these bots, they just ruin the experience for everyone. So, hey, once these bots have been sorted out and completely smushed out, maybe we could see a major update again. Think about it. Makes logical sense. But that said, this is wonderful. 